Welcome ladies and gentlemen to CrossFit Larrikin's second ever in-house competition, the Mess After Easter. First cab off the rank, both divisions will be doing an AMRAP 12 minutes. This is a round for round style where player one must complete a full round, run back to the start line, tag in player two, they complete a full round, so on and so forth. Players are welcome to complete more than one round in a row, but they must do completed rounds before they can tag out. For the fun division, this 12 minute AMRAP consists of 80 single skips, three deadlifts at 90 kilos for the guys and 60 kilos for the girls, and five pull-ups. For the Fury Division, it is 60 double unders, 3 deadlifts at 130 kilos for the guys and 90 kilos for the girls, and 3 bar muscle ups. With the skipping, if there is any tripped skips, the judge will deduct 1 rep from the current total. For the deadlifts, any style of grip is welcome, it must be stood up and completely extended through all the joints with the shoulders behind the bar at the top. It is the athlete's responsibility to make sure that it is clear that they have finished the deadlift. If the judge does not see it that way, tough bickies. For the pull-ups in the fun division, any style of grip is welcome, that is overhand, underhand or mix. Providing the athlete starts underneath the bar and finishes with their chin clearly, emphasis clearly, over the bar, that rep will count. Things that will not count from the pull-up is any sort of jumping with the floor or any time the athlete's arm does not start straight. For the bar muscle-ups, athlete must start underneath the bar with their arms straight, then at the top they need to lock out the dip position. Things that will not count, any time the athlete rests their torso on the bar, this doesn't refer to grazing the torso as you go through the movement, but any time you come to a complete stop on the bar. Also, any time both elbows do not travel over the bar at the same time, i.e. a chicken wing, that will be a no rep and an embarrassment to your family. The resting athlete can have their skipping rope in hand, but they cannot leave the start line until they've been tagged in by the athlete currently doing a round. And yes, they must move to the standard work area to begin their skips, they can't start skipping in the start area. Yes, 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 every movement has rules and terms and conditions and so on and so forth, but you all know what you're doing, you know what's weird, you know what's not, don't do weird stuff, do good stuff, and we'll all have a great time. And get out those nervous peas before we kick off for workout one.